When human beings acquired language, we didn't just learn to listen, we learned how to speak. When human beings acquired text, we learned not just how to read, but how to write. And now that we acquire computers, we should learn not just how to use them, but how to program. Back in the 1980s, learning to use a computer was the same thing as learning to program one. But as computers got easier to use and more user-friendly, the distance between using a computer and knowing how it worked got longer and wider until we had extremely opaque interfaces through which you do what the program says without any idea of what's actually going on behind the screen. Ask any kid what Facebook is for and he'll tell you, well, Facebook is here to help me make friends. No, they're looking to figure out how to monetize people's relationships. If you don't know what the software you're using is for, then you're not using it, but being used by it. Back when I first got on the internet, I saw networking as the next great leap in human evolution, that we were moving towards a new networked organism. And I'm amazed at how few of us have actually decided to participate in this project. In a digital age, or in any age for that matter, whoever holds the keys to programming ends up building the reality in which the rest of us live. Thanks to these technologies, we now have the ability to remake our economy, our education, our government, even our religions. If we don't seize the opportunity to remake our world, I promise you someone or something else will do it for us.